Hey guys, today I've got a 15 minute core workout for you. Uh, this is one from the archives of my blog. I'm going back, slowly adding videos to these. Um, so you might recognize it if you're an OG blog reader. All you'll need for this workout is a dumbbell. Um, I would go with a medium weight, whatever medium means to you. I'm using a 10 pound dumbbell. Uh, you could do anything between five and 15 pounds, I'd say, is a good range. In this workout, you're going to get seven exercises. You're gonna do each of them for 30 seconds, back to back, then you get to rest for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna repeat that circuit. In total, you're gonna do that circuit four times. As always, I'll give you a preview of the exercises before we get to it, and know that if you need to modify any of the weighted exercises, your best bet is gonna to be to just ditch that weight and do it body weight. As with all workouts, make sure you're properly warmed up beforehand, always listening to your body, stopping or modifying as needed. I have a five minute warm up on my channel. You could also do your own. If you're new to my channel, I don't play music in the background because I want you to be able to listen to whatever music you like. So if you don't have a playlist queued up, you might wanna get that going. And if you are all set, let's get throughs you're going to make your way down onto the mat and you're going to grab that weight for these you want the weight in both hands bend your knees have your feet on the floor and you want to try to keep your heels down the whole time as you push that weight through your thighs so this is kind of like a crunch but i want you to think of pushing through the legs more so than up as you push, you're thinking of pulling your lower abdominals down towards the floor. And when you lower, I don't want you to lower all the way down. So try to keep your upper shoulder blades hovering off the floor the entire time. It can be helpful to use your breath on this one. Exhale as you push through, inhale as you lower. Okay, we're going to take it into a full body crunch. So you're already pretty much in position. I want you to extend those legs out to a hover. Weight comes over your head. And then everything is going to crunch up and in as if you were bringing the weight to kind of tap your shins. Now, when you expand back out and you're laying down, don't let your low back peel up towards the ceiling. If you're finding your low back peeling up to the ceiling and you're feeling strain there, that means you're lowering your legs too low. Try extending them out at a 45 degree angle so you can really focus on pulling the belly button down into the floor. Okay, we're going to take it into Russian twists. We're doing arc Russian twists, though. So I want you to think of making a rainbow shape. So your arms are staying straight here rather than keeping the weight in tight towards your center of gravity. That being said, if this gets to be too much, if your arms are dying here, then just do a regular Russian twist. It's going to be a little easier for the upper body. Another way to modify these heels on the floor. Last few seconds here. Okay, we're gonna go into a leg lift with a crunch. So starting on your back, you're gonna lower your legs to a hover a few inches off the floor, lift them back up, pointing to the ceiling, and then crunch up, bringing that weight up towards your toes. When you crunch that weight up, your goal, get those shoulder blades off the floor. Now, if these are a little too much, if you're feeling that low back peel up to the ceiling, I want you to do these with bent knees or only lower those legs 45 degrees. We're going to come into side plank dips does not matter what side you start on we'll alternate each round so in a side plank you can do straight arm or forearm i'm going to do forearm put the weight on your top hip and you're dipping those hips down they hover over the floor and then crunching them up to the ceiling really crunch when you lift those hips so i want you to think of making a rainbow shape through your torso a few more seconds to go here we're going to ditch the weight at the beeps 
Let's take it to mountain climbers. The last two moves are body weight. So you're going to run those knees in, 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 in. I want you to keep these quick, but if your form starts getting sloppy, slow it down a little bit. Top priority, I want you to maintain the movement the entire 30 seconds. You're already past that halfway point. You can do it. Get that heart rate up. Run it out. At the beeps, don't break the plank, okay? Just lower to your forearms. Forearm plank, hold down on your forearms, hips at shoulder height. I want you to stay active through the legs. So squeeze your quads as if you're lifting your quads off of your kneecap. Squeeze your bum. Knit your ribs together. Low abs are pulling up and in. And now I want you to create tension. I want you to picture you're trying to pull your elbows and toes together. They're not actually going to move, but notice that that creates a contraction and you're going to feel this more powerfully through your midsection. Final few seconds and you get a rest. 30 seconds to rest. So we are done with our first set. You have three more of those to go. After plank work, I always like to roll my shoulders out a couple times. All right, start making your way into position. We'll start with those push throughs. So laying down, knees bent, feet on the floor. You want to keep those heels on the floor the whole time. We're pushing that weight through the legs as we crunch up. So when you crunch up, I want you to picture you're kind of buttoning your bottom two ribs together. So contract through the core, pull the low belly down to the floor. When you lower, don't lower all the way down to the point where you're resting. So notice my shoulders are still hovering slightly off the ground. Oh, into that full body crunch. So keep the weight extended overhead, legs at a hover. We crunch up, sit all the way up. So you're going to get a bigger range of motion here with the upper body than during those push throughs. You're, I want your whole back to come off the floor so that at the top of this, you're balancing on your tailbone. Everything crunches up and in, everything expands back out. Remember, if these are too tough, um, I want you to not extend your legs as low. The higher they are when they're, you're in that extension, the more support for your low back. Okay, arc Russian twist. So just like a Russian twist, but keep your arms straight and it's a big movement. So your arms have to work a little harder on these than a traditional Russian twist. Up and over. I like these because it adds a little element of instability. So I find I have to work a little harder to hold the position. Ways to modify, heels down lightly on the floor or just keep the weight in towards your center of gravity. Give me a regular Russian twist. Okay, lay back down. We're going into those leg lifts with a crunch. When you lower those legs, if you're keeping them straight, remember you're only going as low as you can, honoring that low back. And what I mean by that is if you're bringing your heels all the way down so that they're just an inch off the floor, but your back is arching up to the ceiling, that's not effective, okay? So lower is not always better. Even if you're just getting 45 degrees down, but you're really focusing on pulling the belly button down to the floor, you're doing an awesome job. Okay, side plank hip dips. Switch sides, so whatever side you did not do the first time. Make sure that that shoulder is stacked right over your elbow crease or your hand if you're going to do them on straight arms, and you're dipping those hips down and up, holding that weight right on your hip. If these get to be a little too heavy, just, just ditch the weight, do it body weight. Okay, last two exercises. No weight is needed. Mountain climbers, find your high plank position and run it out, driving your knees one at a time in towards the chest. Try to keep the pace quick. You want to get your heart rate up. You're almost there. Checking on those arms. If you're locking out your elbows, just bend them slightly. Invisible softness so that we don't hyperextend. Remember, at the beeps, don't break the plank. Just march down. Forearm, forearm, lock into position, get those hips at shoulder height, knit your ribs together, low abs pull up and in, you're drawing your elbows and your toes together, create that tension, legs are active, squeeze your quads and glutes, and make sure you're breathing, so hold the position, not your breath. Under 10 seconds to go, you got this. 
If you need to modify, drop your knees, but don't drop your hips. Okay, 30 seconds. We're at the halfway point. Take a second to stretch it out. Let's start making our way down onto the mat. We got those push throughs to start, bend those knees, feet on the floor. We're gonna try to keep our heels down the whole time. Weight in both arms, extend those arms straight and you're gonna push through your legs. If when you push through, you find that your feet are hovering off the ground, don't come up as high. Remember, this doesn't need to be a full sit up. So start small, maybe you're just getting a couple inches up, keep those heels down, heels down, and then gradually as you go through this, try to build up, getting a little higher and higher. Last few seconds here, then we'll take it into that full body crunch. Okay, weight overhead, hold the fat ends of it. Legs extended out to a hover. And you're going to crunch up, bring that weight to your shins. Breath is helpful on this. You would exhale as you crunch up, inhaling as you extend yourself out. Rainbow Russian twist coming up, or arc Russian twist, making that rainbow shape. So let's check in and make sure that we're keeping our chest open. What tends to happen, especially when we have straight arms like this, is our shoulders want to hunch forward. So real quick, just roll your shoulder blades down your back, chest is open, then knit those ribs together to make sure your core is still active. You have a slight lean back, so think about keeping those shoulders behind your hips. Leg lift with that crunch. Crunch that weight up towards your toes, lower those legs down and up. Remember, you're only lowering those legs as low as you can go, keeping that low back pulling down towards the floor. If it's arching up and you're feeling straining, that's not effective. Don't go as low. Or if you need to modify, bend those knees. Side plank, and remember, we're alternating sides, so you would be doing the same size you did the same side you did the first round. I'm doing forearm here, but you can do it on a straight arm if you would rather. Modification: ditch that weight. Okay, time to ditch the weight, mountain climbers. Last minute of this round, let's go, run it out. As you do these, check in on your hips. You don't wanna pike your butt up into the air, okay? So hips are staying right around shoulder height. Woo, I'm struggling. <laughs> let's go, under 10 seconds, right through to the end. Remember, don't break the plank at the beeps. March down to your forearms and hold. Now, I know it can be frustrating in plank work. Sometimes you feel like your shoulders are burning out before the core does. That's okay. That's how it is for most people. And that's why we're mixing in some crunch movements and we're not doing this whole thing in a plank. Shoulders will get a break. and rest. You have 30 seconds to shake it out. Maybe give your shoulders a couple big rolls back and forward. Let's start making our way down to the floor. We'll have those push throughs, knees bent, Okay, and let's go. So grab the weight in both hands, arms are straight, push through. And remember, we're pushing laterally more so than vertically. Exhale as you crunch up, pause at the top with control, lower down.
take it into that full body crunch. If this is getting to be too much, you could always do this one body weight. You would just ditch the weight, but same movement. So round four of four of these, notice my legs aren't as low as they were the first few rounds. That's because I'm noticing if I'm lowering them too much, my low back is peeling off the ground and I'm not maintaining that proper form. Quality over quantity always. And if that means taking a modification to maintain that quality, do it. All right, arc Russian twists. Balancing on that tailbone, lift those legs, tilt back with your torso, keep the chest open, core engaged. Up and over, bringing that weight to the outside of the hips. Leg lifts with that crunch. This is another one. If you need to modify, just stitch the weight. Maybe you modify by ditching the weight and putting your hands under your bum. That's going to help protect the low back. So if you have a history of low back issues and this one is not happening for you this fourth round, do that. No weight, hands under your bum, just do the leg lift. Side plank hip dips. So switch sides. So it'll be whatever side you did the second round. Let's make sure our hips are stacked as we do this. So you want your top hip directly over the bottom one. Sometimes we tend to roll open or closed. Um, more often than not, what you need to do to get into proper alignment is to pull that top hip forward an inch. Ditch that weight. Last minute of this workout. Let's go. We got those mountain climbers, that forearm plank hold, and then you are done. Let's not waste any time. Get into that high plank. Start running it out. We're not piking our butt up into the air. We're keeping our hips right around shoulder height. We're going as quickly as we can. We are past that halfway point. Keep it up. At those beeps, do not break your plank. You're just going to march down to your forearms. Let's see it. Forearm plank to finish up. 30 seconds here. Hips at shoulder height. Squeeze those quads. Squeeze those glutes. Knit your ribs together. Low abs pull up and in. We're not sinking into our shoulders. We're pressing the floor away. Make sure you breathe. Final few seconds. Too close to the end. To bail now. Stay with me and done hope you enjoyed that workout if you did you know the drill give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys here back next monday with another workout